Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can point your domain and even subdomains to versal.com. So as you can see, I have my domain fluidpixels.com pointing to versal. So how you can do that is you can just go ahead and log into your domain provider. In my case, I'm using Hostinger. Then you need to go ahead to your domain sections and then go to domain portfolio then open that particular domain i have opened it already in here the first thing you need to do is you need to create a simple type record of a at the red value and then for value you can just note down this value which is 76.76.21.21 so you just need to go ahead and do this 76.76.21.21 in here and at the rate will be the same and everything will be just same okay so in my case it is already existing so that's why it's giving an error once you do this your domain will start showing over here in the versal section uh, in which case uh, you will go to the domain section here and then you'll go ahead to add existing then you'll just select a project you can select any sort of project i'm going to select this and then you can choose your domain over here okay so it will now appear here now i'm going to show you how you can add subdomains so if you want to create multiple projects using just one domain this is the way so in my case uh, let's just you can see i've created all these uh, other slide in dev portfolio and all of these are on my main domain which is just fluidpixels.com so I'm just going to create a new C name record and the name will be whatever the subdomain that you want to create. So in my case, I want to create a new subdomain for blog at uh, blog.fluidpixels.com. So you'll just go ahead and type blog in the name section where there will be an at the rate. You can just go ahead and type blog. And for target, you need to note down this. I'll post this in my description that is cname.versal-dns.com then you just need to go ahead and add that dns record uh, once you will add that record it will appear over here let me just refresh this page quickly let's see okay so block zero cname.versaldns.com so now we have created the record our hosting work is done here so let me just quickly host a new project. Let's just first go ahead and create a new project. I'll just uh, go from starting and show you everything. I'll just import this project over here. Let it deploy, then we'll even assign the domain that we have forwarded from our hostinger or it will work uh, same in any other domain provider as well currently if we go to block.fluidpixels.com sorry it's right now it will give an error because there is uh, nothing on this domain currently okay so that's what we are going to create okay so our project has been deployed i just created a quick sample page for to showcase here okay so currently it has the versal domain now we need to assign the domain to this we'll just go ahead and add we'll go to and now we'll type our new domain with the subdomain added in it which is fluidpixels.com so we don't want any redirection this will be our main domain everything else is already selected we just need to go add now it will check if the settings are correct or not we have already set our settings here this is a simple setting of just cname record with the value of your subdomain name and then the content will be cname.versal-dns.com so now it will also generate an ssl certificate so it has been assigned to main okay 
so let me just refresh this page and hopefully we should see our project and that's it we now have our project on our subdomain this http we'll just go ahead and see on the http okay so we now even have the ssl certificate and it's working fine and on the fluidpixels.com is my another project that i also have hosted on versal itself so let me just see is it so this is hosted on the main domain it is also on versal only and now we have hosted this another i mean i just close it but here you get the idea so this is how you can i think you can do it unlimited time as many time as you long so you can create as many projects as you would like you just need to keep on adding new c name record you only need to create this a record only once after that uh, so these are the i think the main server of versal is uh, on this ip address then others are just c name records for this so this will help them point out correctly to your actual project which you want to connect so this was it guys i hope you like this video i'll create more such videos in future so do subscribe give this video a like if this helped you and if you have any questions regarding this let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to help you guys solve your issues